This is the update for Thursday, the 23rd of September of 2021. And there were six dividend payments today, added up to 11 cents. Had four ordinary dividends, one return of capital, and another demerger payment. And three of them were the first dividends I've received from, or actually four were the first that I've received from these stocks. So I've no previous information on them, unfortunately. Yeah, Maui paid a demerger, which had no withholding tax, and a return of capital, which obviously doesn't have it anyway. Yeah, it's not often that a, a US company doesn't have a withholding tax, except for a return of capital, but we'll see as time goes on if all the demergers have a withholding tax. Anyway, the first payment was from VF Corp, VF Corporation. Ticker symbol is VFC. Well, it's about $67 per share at the moment. It's in the apparel and accessories industry. It's an apparel, footwear and accessories company engaged in the design, procurement, production, marketing and distribution of branded lifestyle apparel, footwear and related products. So its dividend yield is 2.56% and it pays a quarterly dividend, but this was the first one I received. It was an ordinary dividend of 41 cents per share. So its quarterly profit margin is about 10% and over the last year is about 4.5%. Its quarterly debt to assets is about 77% and over the last year is the same, closer to 78%. And the annual cash flow from operating is 1.31 billion, from investing is negative 2.9 billion, and from financing is about 1 billion. Number two is Maui ASA. Ticker symbol is MHGVY. It's about $28 per share at the moment. It's based in Norway, but I think it's on the yeah, the American market, the OTC market, so it's in dollar instead of euro. So it's in the food processing industry, and it's formerly known as Marine Harvest ASA. Nor Norway-based company engaged in the production and marketing of seafood, focus on Atlantic salmon. Operates within three segments, which are feed, farming, and sales and marketing. Mm. It has aquaculture and primary processing activities in Norway, Scotland, Canada, Chile, Ireland and the Faroe Islands. And it has subsidiaries in Europe, the Americas and Asia. So its current dividend yield is about 1% and it paid me twice today. One was a demerger for $0.08 cents per share, which had no withholding tax and the other is a return of capital, which was also the first and it was $0.08 cents per share as well. Now its quarterly profit margin is about 13%. Over the last year is about 3%. The quarterly debt to assets is about 47%. And over the last year is about 53%. And its annual cash flow from operating is 502 million. From investing is negative 283 million. And from financing is negative 238 million. Next was Dominion Energy. Ticker symbol is a D. So it's about $74 per share at the moment. I'll show the long term graphs. So it's a producer and distributor of energy it's in the electric utilities company or electric utilities industry. It's focused on providing electricity, natural gas, and related services to customers primarily in the eastern and Rocky Mountain regions of the US. Dividend yield is about 3%, pays a quarterly dividend, and this was an ordinary payment of 53 cents per share, which is the same as the last one that they paid. So its quarterly profit margin is about 9.5%, 
and over the last year is negative 3%. Its quarterly debt to assets is about 73%, and over the last year is about the same, 73%. An annual cash flow from operating is 5.23 billion, from investing is negative 2.92 billion, and from financing is negative 2.33 billion. Next was legal and general group. Ticker symbol is LGEN. It's about two pounds, 83 pence per share, based in the UK. It's in the, in the investment services industry. And it transacts life insurance and long-term savings business, investment management and general insurance and health business. Its current dividend yield is about 6.7% and it pays twice a year but this was an ordinary payment of 5.18 pence per share. And the last one I'd received was four pence per share. So because it pays twice a year, the second one, the final one, is usually a lot bigger than the first. And the last two I've received, one was four pence and the other one was 12.64 pence. So it looks like the interim payment has been bumped up quite a lot. It's always nice. So its quarterly net income is about 1.07 billion. Over the last year is about 1.61 billion. Its quarterly debt to assets is about 98%. And over the last year is the same, about 98%. Its annual cash flow from operating is 4.3 billion. From investing is negative 457 million. And from financing is negative 29 million. Next is Barclays and the last one. Ticker symbol is BARC. It's about one pound 83 pence per share, based in the UK. It's in the regional banks industry. And it's a transatlantic consumer and wholesale bank with global reach, offering products and services across personal, corporate and investment banking, credit cards and wealth management. And it's anchored in the company's two home markets of the UK and the USA. Its dividend yield is about 1.67% and it pays twice a year, but this was the first one I received. It was for two pence per share. Its quarterly net, net income is about 4.2 billion and over the last year is about 2.38 billion. Its quarterly debt to assets is about 95% and over the last year is about 95%. And its annual cash flow from operating is 57.5 billion, from investing is negative 18 billion, and from financing is 2.73 billion. So that was it for today. Not bad, six payments. And so far, every day this week, there has been at least one. Yesterday, there was only one, but 12 on Monday, 12 on Tuesday, six today. So it's picking up speed. Very nice. Well, that's it for today. I hope that you found this useful.